I will say a piece of uh, a piece of Spectora that we do market um, more than anything else that our agents love is the recommended contractors, um, and our contractors love them too. I was actually just like yeah. Instagram DMing our preferred handyman last night, who's like a total rock star, and like I was like scrolling and I saw I was like I swear I've inspected that house before, and I messaged him and I'm like, is this so and so address? He's like, yeah, man, your client reached out. It's like the tenth one this month where like they just say, hey, you were on my home inspection report. And like, that's all the contractor knows about the experience, but it's work in their pockets. So they really, you know, they love it. They don't care how it happens. They're just like, great, my name's out there. And then you find out later, it's like, oh yeah, these agents like look forward to the bottom of the report, almost like, hey, I hope there's a category issue on this report that I haven't had because I know Ryan's going to have a, like a contractor who I don't know on here that I can add to my list. So that's great. Yeah, so that the improvements with the with the recommended contractors that Josh has been um, making with you guys has been like absolutely awesome, and I, I know there's still a laundry list there that's either like in progress or like on the roadmap, um, but the, it's it's been awesome to to be able to like actually say, hey, there's going to be a list of people at the bottom of your report. In every one of them, I've either had work on my own house or I've worked alongside of, and so they're not just people who are paying to be there which is, you know, the fear in the industry today is that somebody just paid to be on my list. So sure. let's, let's riff on that for a second, because, you know, that was built, you know, this is a couple of years in the making, maybe five or yeah. six, because my background worked at home advisor before understood kind of the lead gen world and, yeah. and then being a realtor and then being with Spectora, just learning that the home buyer often asks more of the home inspector, sometimes the realtor. Yeah. And we're at a point in time, I believe, where the door's wide open for companies and home inspectors to add more value and connect the dots more to help homeowners. And I think it's such a value add, which is why we built it. But um, I do believe we're in the early innings of kind of a sea change because especially if the buyer's agent kind of, if that role changes a little with the NAR suit and who knows what will come from that. I think it, I think the home inspector, it's a, it's like a time to shine for the home inspector. So I don't know if you want to riff on kind of like all the areas you see your company adding value to the home buyer. Yeah, d definitely. Um, uh, there's, there's a hundred ideas in my mind, in my <laughs> notes app, uh, you know, where I've been thinking over the year, like one, one of my goals for 2024 is to get my general contractor's license here in Florida. And it's, mm -hmm. You know, one for just for me personally, it's a goal, it's a professional goal. And it's like, okay, how can I use this, um, you know, to help my business as well? Uh, there's, you know, there's, there's a company that I don't even know how I found them on LinkedIn, like four or five years ago, called like Inspection Resolution General Contractors. I think they're out of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's such a great business model. It's like, you exist to help the real estate transaction, like on either side, right? Beautiful. And there's um there's certainly like the conflict of interest conversation about like working on homes that you've inspected, but there's such a big opportunity to like when when agents aren't working with us as the buyer's agents, they're selling homes. Right. And when when they get an inspection report back and they're like, I've got to make this repair, my seller has to make this repair, like who do they call? And a lot of times, like they call us, being like, Do you know who I can call? Or can you like help me decipher this other home inspector's like request for repair kind of thing? Um, so I'm like, okay, how can we like get into that space and be like, actually, I can do it. I'm, I'm licensed to do that. Let me yeah. make that right here for you um, in a way that, you know, it is not a conflict of interest. And so I, I I look at that and I say, okay, how does that fit with this like recommended contractors world? Um, you know, is that something where it's like, you know, I could be involved in like other Spectora users recommended contractor list and, um, you know, even on our own in some capacity. Uh, but what I have found, and I would say like, this is, this is just feedback more than anything, um, is the experience where you have either older contractors who are not like as tech friendly, um, or you have, uh, uh, businesses that are a little bigger and there's like multiple steps to call in and get a plumber out to your house. Um, that, that email that gets sent by clicking, like get a quote from Spectora oftentimes gets missed. Mm. Um, or just like, you know, either ends up in their spam or they're like, what's this? Like, you know, they don't remember the interaction that like I had with the company owner at one point saying, Hey, I'd love to send you some work since you've done so many things, good things for us. 
Um, so, you know, I, maybe I don't have as many solutions as I have like questions there, but would love to see like something in terms of like, even like a vendor portal where it's like, you know, I can say like, Hey, like, here's your contact info. Any of my clients who need work done, like you'll get an alert, but also like, you've got this nice little portal there where you can see the active jobs and, sure. uh, you know, re reach out to us easier for context and for, you know, if you're like, Hey, I just got this request. I see the deficiency says this before we go out. Can you give us a little more context? Cause we're the ones who saw it originally. So um, maybe there's some opportunity there, but I, I really see like the partnership between home inspectors and, and the trades to be, um, you know, uh, something that's going to be much more significant in the future. Um, cause it's always nice for us too, to know that our recommended contractors are going out because they're much less likely to throw us under the bus with a little comment about like, how did your home inspector miss this and that? Right. Yeah. We, the age old comment, you know, it's been happening yeah. for 50 years of, uh, you know, when there's yeah. no relationship, <laughs> They exactly. all want to blame someone. And I, and it's we, the, it's the phrase we all hate the most. <laughs> we, we had a, uh, we, we had a, uh, a, a big home that we did recently. And, uh, after a home closed, the homeowner was getting some HVAC work done and nothing, nothing to address any problems. It was like a, Hey, I want to add X, Y, and Z to this sure. house. Um, and you know, the, the HVAC contractor came back with the, uh, Hey, I saw an issue with your foundation. How did your home inspector miss this? And by the time it makes its way through the buyer, the listing agent, the buyer's agent, all the way back to us, and it was like, you should probably get a foundation guy to look at that first and foremost. But anyway, it's, you know, it's like, um, it's just that age old, like, you got to have those partnerships. Um, and you got to trust the people who are out there to, you know, not not only do a really good job, but to like know their lane to stay to stay in their lane. And, you know, yeah. that's what we try to do and, and refer who's needed for different types of issues. So. Do you believe that word of mouth kind of recommendation and handoff is the most powerful kind of the most, has the most staying power for contractors? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. We, when, when I call my contractors and, and the, the, my favorite part of working in this industry is the, is the connections that I've made with contractors to be able to like call my plumber. And like, I know when I pick up the phone and call and, and I'll, I'll drop their name experts, plumbers here in Tampa, like. I know Cassie's going to answer the phone and like, if she can't answer my question, I'm going to go talk to the owner who I've literally dug trenches with inside homes, like to run yeah. new plumbing lines. So yeah. it's like, Hey, this may not result in a dollar of work to you, but like, I need your opinion on something that I'm seeing. And all of a sudden it's like, Hey, I've got a professional answer that I can go back to my client with. Um, and then they also trust that contractor when they need work done. So. Yeah. And I do believe home, like as a homeowner, I can tell you that a name I got years ago from a home inspector or another contractor, Yeah, I wrote it down somewhere. I still have it. And it, it's someone, it's kind of an impression that matters versus just Googling yeah. it, which I think yeah. like is the age old, like, Oh, just Google it. Well, trust matters. 